Hello, my name is Eric and today we'll be discussing how to properly use a digital operator on our RS3 Ethercat drives. The drive I will be using is a RS3A02A2HA4. The motor I'll be using is a 400 watt R1 motor. The way to get to the digital operator on our RS3 drives is by pulling this little tab here. That will open and now you'll be able to see the seven segment display, connector CN5 and CN6, power LED indicator, two rotary switches, and the digital operator operation keys, one labeled mode and the other labeled WR. Once you initiate the drive, you're able to see that the seven segment display turns on and currently my drive does not have any alarms. However, if you do have any alarms, you can check through our setup software or I will show you how to, how to see previous alarms using the digital operator. The first tip you should know when using a digital operator is how to change to different modes. The way to execute this is by pressing the mode button. At first you're in the status display mode. Press the mode button once and you will be in the test operation mode. Press the second time and you will be in the alarm history display mode. Press the third time and you will be in the monitor display mode. Press the fourth time and you will be back to status display mode. This is how you change to different modes when using the digital operator. Now I want to talk a bit about the status display mode and what each sequence means. If you have a safe torque off function in use, you will see the following sequence displayed. This means that there is no current going to the servo motor until the contact is closed. So now that the contact is closed, you should see the three solid lines displayed, which means that the motor is ready to be turned on and a motion to be executed. Another very important status display is when the servo motor is on. This can be done in various ways, such as using I.O., using our setup software, or through a command through Ethercat. When turning the motor on, you will see the rotating 8 displayed on the 7 segment, which means that the motor is ready for operation. Now we will discuss how to execute the encoder clear function using the digital operator. Press the mode button once. Now press and hold mode for more than one second. Then you should see a 0, 1 displayed instead of 0, 0. Press the WR button once and the display should show an encoder clear. Lastly, pressing WR one more time will execute the function. Once it is done running, it will display encoder clear one more time. Pressing mode will take you back to the test operation mode. Now we'll show you how to execute the jog operation. To start, press the mode button once. Ensure the seven segment has AD and 00 displayed on it. Then press WR once. Jog will be displayed. Press WR again and the motor will turn on. Default velocity value is 50 RPMs. You can change this value through our setup software. Pressing and holding WR will rotate the motor counterclockwise. Pressing and holding the mode button will rotate the motor in the clockwise direction. Pressing mode once will turn the motor off and the seventh segment will display jog once again. End the process by pressing mode one, one last time and the seventh segment will display ALD F3. Pressing mode again will take you back to the test operation mode. If the amplifier has three solid lines displayed on it like this, it means it does not have any alarms and is ready to be operated. If you do come across an alarm and like to reset it, here are the steps to do that. Press the mode button twice until alarm history and the number one is displayed. Press and hold the mode button until alarm history cleared is displayed. Once this is displayed, press the WR button and the display should show a flashing ready. Press WR one more time and it will clear all alarms on the drive. Once it is done, it will go back to the alarm history display mode. 
So if you pass alarms on the drive, you go to alarm history mode by pressing the mode button twice. As you can see, a one is displayed at the moment, and that is the most recent alarm on the drive. To view it, press the WR button. Then it will display the most recent alarm. To go back, press the mode button. To view the second most recent or any alarm, you would like to view, press and hold the mode button until you are at the desired value. For example, if you would like to view the fifth latest alarm, press and hold the mode button until number five is displayed. Then press the WR button to view exactly what that alarm was. As you can see, it shows the alarm. It shows zero since I just cleared all the alarms on the drive. However, if you do have any alarms, it will show you what exactly the alarm was. The last section of the video will be on how to use the monitor display mode. I will show you how to view your actual position monitor, velocity monitor, and your torque monitor. I will also include a monitor list so you can know what is the ID number for each value you would like to view. First, when turning the drive on, you need to get to the, mo the monitor display mode. To do this, press the mode button three times. This symbol will be displayed. To view actual positioning, you will need to change the value displayed to number 11. To do this, press and hold the mode button until an 11 is displayed. Keep in mind that the values are in hexadecimal format and I will also include the ranges of the digital display. Then press the WR button once and you will see a value displayed. You can see it's working properly by moving the motor shaft by hand or through our setup software. Then you can see the values change depending where the shaft is rotating. Also, keep in mind, if you would like to go down in values when looking for the correct ID number, all you need to do is press and hold the WR button. Now, velocity monitor is ID number 15. To view it, press and hold the mode button until 15 is displayed. Once it is there, press the WR button once and you will see a value displayed. This value is in RPMs. Once again, to view that it is working, you can move the motor shaft by hand when the motor is not excited and view the value change or run the motor through a command or our setup software. Lastly, to view your torque monitor, you will need to change the ID value to 17. Press and hold mode until 17 is displayed. Once you get there, press WR once and the value will be displayed. So as you can see, the value is zero at the moment. However, if I turn the motor on and try to move the motor shaft, you will see the value change. This value is a percentage torque of the motor. This concludes my video on how to use the digital operator on our RS3 Ethercat drive.